Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I want to bring you guys a quick video about tomorrow's Soyuz launch. Soyuz will be sending two Russian cosmonauts and an American astronaut to the International Space Station aboard the Soyuz MS-18 spacecraft. This mission will launch from Site-31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. T-0 for this launch is 3.42 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, April 9th. Seven seconds before liftoff, the engines on the Soyuz rocket will be ignited, and at T-0, the hold-down arms that are holding the rocket in place will release the vehicle and it'll roar into the sky. A few minutes into flight, the four strap-on boosters that make up the first stage of the Soyuz rocket will have expended all their fuel and they will be jettisoned. And shortly after that, the protective fairings and launch abort system will also be jettisoned as the vehicle is now high enough in the atmosphere and no longer needs those. A few minutes later, the second stage or core stage of the Soyuz booster will also have expended all of its fuel and it too will be jettisoned in a process known as hot staging. This is where the engine on the third stage is ignited shortly before the separation of the second stage. And about nine minutes after launch, the engines on the third stage will shut down, having successfully put the Soyuz Soyuz spacecraft into orbit. After separating from the third stage of the launch vehicle, the Soyuz will deploy its solar panels and antennas and begin making its way to the International Space Station. Docking is slated for just a few hours later at 7.07 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, April 9th. Soyuz will approach the space station from underneath, and using its own thrusters, it will gently dock with the Nadir-facing port on the Rosviet module, which is on the bottom of the space station. So what exactly is the goal of this mission to the International Space Station? Well, the primary cargo for this mission is two Russian cosmonauts and an American astronaut. But on top of its three human crew members, it is bringing a small amount of supplies and resources needed to maintain the space station. Although most of the resupply duties now fall to dedicated resupply vehicles. This particular Soyuz spacecraft will remain docked with the International Space Station until around mid-October when it is planned to come home and land in Kazakhstan. So if you want to keep up with this launch, I'll leave some links down below in the description that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel where they'll livestream both the launch and the docking live. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter where I'll post up-to-date information about this mission as well as other upcoming events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about the Soyuz rocket, the Soyuz spacecraft, or the International Space Station, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them there. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin and I will see you next time.